Chapter 2. Pathos. Pathos was the same as Jupiter in layout. Except the board was dark blue rather than green. The first thing I noticed was that all of the usual level icons had been replaced by a blue rock in some kind of orange honeycomb shape. There was one icon that had a part of the jungle icon shape, but I didn't pay much thought to it. I checked the other side of the board to see the new monster. Instead of Hedera, it was Bioanti. But that couldn't have been right. Godzilla vs. Bioanti didn't come out until 1989, and this game was made in 1988. Perhaps Bi Toho put Bioanti in the game to build excitement for the movie next year, but change their minds? I tried to rationalize the game's abnormalities any way I could, but this would prove to be futile. Pathos's map song was the first new song I heard in the game. Like most of the new songs, it was hard to describe, but in any case, I'll try. It, it started out slow and suspenseful, much slower than any song in the game. But every 12 seconds or so, there would be a loud clashing sound and the tempo changed. It was like the composer randomly started playing parts from five different songs with the same instruments. I moved Godzilla over to one of the many blue rocks that had been replaced, that had replaced the jungle icons and started the level. The level resembled a blue mountain range with a blood red planet in the sky, but, but there was something odd about the mountains. They had a shredded paper look to them. I thought at first, maybe the glitch had affected it, but it looked far too intentional. I quickly noticed something else about this new level. There were, there were no enemies at all. Not even any obstacles. I should also mention that this was where the point meter started to become glitched beyond comprehension. But it didn't bother me much. I never keep up with the game points. So without having to focus on anything, I listened to the music while walking through the level unopposed. The music had a sorrowful feel to it. It would have been rather pleasant had I heard it in a normal game. The level went on for three screens, but with no obstacles I around, I finished it very quickly. I tried other levels of the same type to see if any of any enemies would appear, but there were none. There was little else to be seen in the Blue Mountains, so I tried the other te level type. I started with uh, I, I started one of the orange levels, and my eyes were assaulted with a grotesque background of tumorous orange eyes. The sky was the same as the ground, and I assumed the game was indicating that this level takes place in a cave. The only enemies here were Matango spawn, but as you can see, the little bastards were everywhere. The music certainly didn't help with a mixture of screeching sounds and loud drum beats that sounded like a monster's theme in a horror film. After completing it, I tried to avoid playing through any more of these levels whenever I could. The map was short, so it was only a few minutes before I headed out towards a rematch with Gizra and Mogera. But this time, their sprites and attack patterns were vastly different. I fought Mogera first. Mogera's replacement was a flying machine with slight resemblance to a a uh, Pascagoula alien. It was a bit like fighting Mothra, only it 
moved with a lot more grace. It attacked by spinning its te front tentacle like a corkscrew, and it still had an eye beam. Except now it fired from the drill. This lanky aberration that re had replaced Gizera, and the new beast was even more of a challenge. It would run and jump at a fast pace, constantly swinging its arms, making it hard to get close. And of course, it tried to pin me into the corner with as much annoying resolve as ever. I defeated it using a combination of tails, whips, and heat beam spamming. I defeated them and then was going on to fight Titanosaurus. But when I started the fight, Titanosaurus was nowhere to be seen. And the game simply went back to the map with the Titanosaurus piece now missing. There was no one left to fight now but Bioanti, so I eagerly started the battle. I was quite surprised that Bioanti started the fight in her rose form. She was immobile and used tentacles to keep me away from her main body, which took the most damage. As expected, she turned into her final form after taking enough damage. The sprite looked pretty damn good for 8-bit. The battle technique was the same, except now Bioanti can move, albeit slower than any other monster. Being hit by the tentacles did more damage now, and Bioanti could do an acid spit, which I managed to avoid by jumping in the, in the screen cap. Not much more difficult to beat than Titanosaurus. It only took two rounds, but... When Bioanti was gone, the music had stopped. And there was a new icon replacing the base. The icon wasn't there before I beat Bioanti. It resembled a red tribal mask. And I had the feeling of dread when I saw it. But since it replaced the base, it must have been the only way to exit Pathos. I moved Godzilla to the square and started the level. It was a hellish looking place with no sky and a flickering fire in the background. The fire looked more, far more advanced than Anything I'd seen on the NES. There was music in the form of a slow, steady drum sound resembling a heartbeat. All the texts on the top of the screen and the life bar were gone. In their place was a single bit of text in the middle of the screen that said, run. My, my feeling of dread had intensified. I cautiously walked through the level, but like the Blue Mountains, there were no enemies. I paced around for a minute thinking, run. Run from what? The first time it hit me, I didn't even see it. I heard a noise outside my room. It turned back if something fell. And when I looked back, Godzilla was dying. I figured it must have just been a glitch, but I wasn't going to play through the game without Godzilla, so I, I restarted the game and went to the password screen. Have I mentioned how creepy the password screen music is? If, if, if you played the game, you know what I mean. It, it doesn't at all fit with the mood of the game. It's, it's more like something from a horror movie. Maybe, it, maybe, they, maybe they made it like that so kids wouldn't cheat. But I was annoyed at this point. <laughs> because I because I thought I was going to have to fight all the monsters again, but that didn't happen. 
the game started me off right where I was before. I saw I started the red face level, but so I tried it again, making sure to pay attention this time. That's when I heard a low bellowing sound. And then, and then I saw it. This, this thing. Do, do you know that feeling your body has when you, uh, when you feel like you're in extreme danger? You start to recoil and tense up and as the adrenaline flows through your veins and, and your nerves start to feel very cold. That's the feeling I had when I took the screen cap. I haven't seen all of the Godzilla movies, but I'm pretty damn sure this was never in any of them. It had to be something the creators made up. But what kind of sick fuck would put this in a children's game? By sheer dumb luck, or, or perhaps the adrenaline boost, I managed to run fast enough to get away from it. It ran very fast. So much so that if you saw it, you would almost think you were certainly going to die. And when I say die, I mean your monster gets killed instantly if that creature touches you, touches them. Once I had gone back to the map, I was afraid that I, I was extremely tempted to shut off this game. I was so afraid I was extremely tempted to shut off this game and try to pretend this never happened. I, I, I couldn't believe what I had seen. It, it couldn't have been real. And, and even if I wanted to continue, I still had to get Mothra through the chase level. But as I stayed inactive on the map screen for a few minutes, my gear was replaced by, by burning curiosity. What in the hell just happened? What was the rest of this game like? I, I only had to beat this level with Mothra and then... It was on to the next world. But when I moved Mothra to the red face, the game registered me it as me beating the level. I was quite relieved. I, I tried to prepare myself for the next world. Trance. 